Yeah, well, on the day of the fire, uh, I was working as a civilian down at uh, an army camp down at Fort Direction at South Arm, which is just the mouth of the Derwent there. And early in the morning, it was very hot and, and windy, and some of us went down to the beach for a swim. And we looked over towards the mountain. We could see wisps of smoke coming. And by the time we got back to, to the camp, and this was about quarter to nine, nine o'clock, there was a, quite a flurry of activity. All the soldiers were running around getting trucks ready and water tanks and mops and buckets. And, uh, and it was obvious that they were going out to fight fires. And so we, we all remained at the camp and by two o'clock uh, the sun had disappeared, it was like the middle of the night and uh, nobody was allowed to leave South Arm Army Camp for the direction. After that the uh, commander in charge was Lieutenant Colonel Simpson who was a surveyor in Hobart and he was very good. But um, I did manage to get away from the camp at about five o'clock because uh, my father and mother had a property at Waterdale and Ralph Baker now. So I wanted to go and check that out. So I went and checked that out. It seemed to be quite safe, so I proceeded back to Hobart. Um, I was later to learn that uh, uh, several years later when I met my wife that her father who was a prominent a used car dealer in Tasmania, Mark Cook, he was called upon to go down the hill and uh, into the Kingston area to uh, identify people that had been unfortunately deceased. So that was a fairly gruesome job for him. But yes, it was a very momentous day for Hobart and uh, it's one of those days that I don't forget.